good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again to do another beer review. Going to do a Brewdog Overworks beer. I got these, I think I got these last, I don't know, maybe last year. February maybe, I don't know, I've had them for a while anyway. And I'm really not happy with them, I don't like them, they're too, they're too sour for me. Certainly, they've not been, not been great, let's put it that way. I am, this one I'm going to do is the uh, Panavision Pink. Um, it is a 5.5% ABV beer. Uh, best before this one is the 8th of November 23. It says so there. And I paid 7 quid for it. I know. But I got these, kind of pick, picked them, picked up the majority of them from Barton's and asked to make, in fact, I picked up all of them from the Barton's and asked to make a film. And it was the day after they were all released. And they were cheaper than what they were on the website. That's why I got them. There's the lid. I think once I've done this one, I've got one left. They've obviously expanded the range since I got these. I haven't picked up any other ones. Um, because I'm, as I said, I'm not overly keen on them. But this one, it says Panavision Pink, is a Scottish sour ale fermented uh, with rose sip and rose and aged in foda barrels. Um, there's a whole blame on the back about what overworks do and the Panavision Pink description there. I'm not going to read it out here. Let's get stuck in and let's see where this takes us. Oh, a nice bit of stuck on that. Oh, here we go. Nice bit of pink. A bit of pink. Nice bit of uh, smoke from the top there. But it says on the side this should be have a rose tinted hue to it. Uh, clearly hasn't got a rose tinted hue to it. I was expecting it to be a little bit pink and not this hazy light gold coloured two fingers of Daz White soapy rapidly decreasing head. That is what we've got there. Look at that. They've all gone like this too. I've got, I've got some bits in it. No floaters, there is a little bit of carb coming up from the bottom. No, the camera can pick that up. Anyway, let's get a nose. That's what we can smell. It smells sour. Lactose. A bit of floral. Lemonish. Okay, body and carb. Lightly car light carbs. Vigorous, sharp carbonation. Um body is light, borderline water. It's like um the body for champagne. Um it's that it's that light and stuff. Just the carbs that Figures, short, compact bubbles, sharp, jagged carbonation. Big gobble. Okay, as sharp as I thought it was going to be, but still sharp. Um, there is. It starts off. Starts off with nothing really, and this tartness kicks in after a sort of after a little, a little while. It's sherbet, lemon sherbet, lemon juice, citric acid. But when that goes, let's go now since I had that big mouthful. You do get this rose water type feeling in your mouth. Almost Turkish delight, but without, obviously without the chocolate. But there is something there that makes me think it's a, a rose water. To you is what I'm thinking of. But let's say big mouthfuls. The, the the tartness is still there, so your mouth's still watering. Now it's starting to fade, and it's that. You know when you get um, you feel it's a velvety when you crush a petal, a rose petal in your fingers. You get that velvety feel. That's what I've got in the roof of my mouth. 
and it does t it, it sounds all floral floral it, it sounds all like a big pan of shite to me but that's coming up my mouth that's what's making me think of it's making me think of petals and there is a little bit of rose water to it but predominantly it's sharp tart sour I suppose we do kind of look at it from above. There is a little bit of a, of a certainly round what's left of the of the head. There's, if you look down on it, there's a bit of a pinkness to it, pink, a slight pink hue. <sighs> lemon sour, really is lemon sour, and it goes like I say. There's this little bit of a little bit of velvety rose water flowers red roses going on and I get that but it's just too sharp it really is just too sharp but that's the that's the way with these overweight beers they're meant to be like that and I, I don't think really there's any of them that I've really, really enjoyed. Seven quid for this bottle. I think it's a little bit more expensive on the website. It may not be now, but it certainly was then when I bought it, when it first came out. It's not worth seven pound. Not a 5.5 percent, it's not. I mean, I'm paying seven pound for double IPAs and Imperial stouts with stuff that's got real flavour to it and real body and and I know these are all experimental beers and I get that and, and you know what I appreciate it and I appreciate the work that's gone into this I appreciate the fact that it's been kept in these big eighty six gallon kegs I think that's what, that's what they hold they hold something a massive amount of booze and I, I appreciate everything that's gone into them I just don't think it's seven pounds worth of beer I certainly couldn't drink more than one. And there is a little bit of floaters in it. So, Overworks, excuse me, Bulldog Overworks, Panavision Pink, Scottish ferment, Scottish Sour Ale, fermented with rose hip and rose and aged in folders. Do I like it? No. Would I buy it again? Not for seven quid. Would I recommend it to friends? No. These just aren't for me. They really aren't. I am. Um, I've got, as I say, I think I've got one more left to go out of the original range. I think. I think it may be one short, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's too over carbs, too sour. <laughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. So, you've had this beer. Let me know what you think. Excuse me, put a comment below. A link to the Brewdog website. Also below. Um, if you like the video, do that. If you like the video, give me the thumbs down. Um, subscribe and comment down there. If you have subs subscribed to this channel in the last couple of weeks, I do I really do appreciate it. Um, and I've got to keep going. I might do the other one this after, um, later on. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. So, let me know what you think. See you on the next one. Hey, Leo.